Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tim's Toy Box. Uh, today on Tim's Toy Box, we're going to be focusing on just one toy line. It's a toy line that I'm not all that familiar with because I only had one figure uh, when I was a kid, and that is Battle Beasts. Battle Beasts can grow into an army. Collect all 84. Battle Beasts. Uh, the whole thing about Battle Beast was, uh, I don't know if you knew, uh, if you remember, of course you knew at some point, is they had the little icons on them, and I didn't even know they had a playset. Um, but this is the Battle Beast, uh, playset. It's a, uh, shark. I believe it's called the Shocking Shark. And, uh, online it shows that this thing opens up all around. I'm not sure exactly how to do that, but as you can see inside here, it's got the, uh, thing. I don't want to risk... Oh, there we go. I think I figured it out. All right, so this one... All right, here we go. That goes out like this, okay? There's some guns and whatnot, I believe, that goes here. This is a jail. Every single play set in uh, every 80s toy line had a dungeon, G.I. Joe, He-Man, etc. This, I believe, is supposed to open up. I do not want to break this toy, guys. I'm not going to try it right now, because I don't want to break it. Uh, but we'll figure out how to get that open, and that way we can uh, display it and whatnot. And of course the jail is a perfect size for your Battle Beasts. Uh, this lot that I got off of, uh, I believe it was eBay, came with, uh, well we'll count them, but it came with a good amount of uh, Battle Beasts that are, are in pretty good shape. Uh, he's not standing up, but uh, there we go. And of course... They fit in there, so pretty nice. Uh, so let's check out the Battle Beast that we got. Um, like I said, if you remember the gimmick for these guys, is that you got all these different animals, anthropomorphic animals, which I believe is how you pronounce that, I'm not sure, which of course are popular with kids in general. All right, so let's see who we have here inside the bag. This particular lot, including the Shocking Shark, which I think that's what it's called, I looked it up online, uh, came with all of these and uh, I got it for a pretty good price. I ended up paying, I believe, $140 for everything and that's pretty good. There's The Shocking Shark does need a lot of work. So let's see, I know I have a couple of doubles in here. Let's see exactly who we got. So I'm just going to move these down here and we'll start Ah, with this particular individual, looks like we have a fox battle beast here. All of these guys are in decent shape. A lot of them are missing their decals, which is very common. The decals were holograms. You rubbed them, and uh, there were basically three teams of battle beast: wood, fire, and water. Battle beast, wood, fire, fire, burn. And uh, I can't make any speculation onto which team this guy was on, but uh, yeah. Nice little uh, fox there. And then uh, here's a, a little bit uh, of in better shape. I'm gonna guess this guy is on the fire team base. Fire! Water! Water puts out fire! Based on him having a red suit, but let's see if his decal works. Uh, I doubt it. A lot of these holograms no longer work. Just activate their battle badges. I got fire! I got water! Water beats fire! <laughs> It is working, yeah, but I can't tell yet. I think it's, you're not going to be able to tell on camera, but I think it's the fire emblem. Anyway, he's a pig, and uh, he loves fire. Uh, perfect for the, uh, the shark. I'm not going to check all their decals because that would take forever, but uh, we've got a shark guy who goes with the, uh, the shocking shark. All of these, like I said, are in really good shape. The only difference is whether or not they have the decal on them. So, um, and a lot of these, if I remember, do have the decal. So let's keep going. We have an octopus person. And it's really good that I got this lot. And a lot of them have the decals. It's very hard to find them with the decals, guys. Because obviously, kids play with them. They rub the decal, you know, and that just rubs the sticker off. Plus, these toys are... 30 plus years old at this point, almost 40. That's depressing. We'll edit that out. All 
don't even know what the I think it's a bobcat. Now see, he is also missing his decal. Uh, I think it's a bobcat. Some kind of feline, I'm not sure. Probably Bobby the Bobcat. That's what I would have called him, because I'm an idiot. A snake person, a cobra to be exact. Uh, I actually might put this guy with my uh, G.I. Joe, like a little pet. He is, oh I don't want, you know what? I don't want to rub these decals, to be honest with you. I don't want to rub them off. That sounds bad when you say it like that. But uh, we're not rubbing anybody off today, buddy. Um, this looks like an albino alligator. And I have two of them. And uh, that reminds me of the albino alligator that was at the Houston Zoo for the longest time. Um, but yeah, so I've got two of these guys. One of them has the hologram sticker, one of them doesn't. Uh, so guess which one I'm gonna be giving away. That one. <sighs> I don't know exactly what kind of animal. Is that a, what is that, a water buffalo? Uh, maybe a ram. Looks, well no. It's some kind of bovine. If you can see the. Oh. Well, is it a, I don't know, is it a bull? I think maybe it is a bull. I've already got one of these guys, so uh, but this one does have the hologram. Again, I'm not gonna be checking the holograms because I don't want to ruin them. If that hologram is still on there at this point, I'm just gonna leave it on. All right, so I have a couple of more. This looks like, I believe it's a flying squirrel. Uh, it looks like a squirrel on the face and it's got these things, I assume it's, it can fly or something. I don't know. Some of these animals are hard to tell, but all of them are in really good shape. I really lucked out on this a uh, lot. Uh, 140, and I'm not sure exactly how many of these I got, but it really increased my entire thing. Here's this, uh, I believe that's a walrus, not a sea lion. Yes? Okay. Nice. Now this guy is a little dustier than the rest of them, so I may need to clean him off a little bit, but he still, the paint looks nice. These guys are all gonna, display really well. We've got a panda here, again with his sticker, um, and uh, I really like, I really like the design of this panda. The black and white really looks good, makes it pop. That's what they say in the fashion industry, makes it pop. You want to pop. I don't pop. We've got a kangaroo. Again, with the hologram sticker. I didn't get any weapons with these guys. Um, I am not any kind of an expert on uh, on Battle Beasts, and I know that a lot of the weapons are very, all their weapons are really generic. It's like spears, axes, ray guns, stuff like that. So I don't know who goes with what, and I don't want to get, uh, you know, horn swoggled online. I have no idea what this guy is. Is this a pangolin? This is a pangolin got to be a pangolin. It's got the scales. That's when it started COVID. <laughs> yes, it was totally a pangolin and not <laughs> the United States government. Anyway, we'll edit that part out. Uh, jokingly, of course. Uh, I think this is a pangolin. Yeah, we're going to call it pangolin, which I just found out what a pangolin was like Again, when COVID started, and I was 38. So <laughs> it tells you how familiar uh, that thing is. This, I have, I don't know what this is. The fuck is this, a wombat? No idea. It might be a fox because it's red, but it's got this nose thing, which makes it, I can't tell. I don't know what it is. If you know what this is, please let us know. Operators are standing by. Just kidding, just comment down below, because I don't, I don't know what this is. We got two left, and this looks like a bulldog, which is pretty cool. Uh, it looks like his sticker is still on there, maybe, but it's faded, and I, I guarantee it doesn't work. Most of their stickers don't work, and again, I don't want to try to find out if they do. 
do or not. Uh, and then we got, of course, uh, this last guy, a little squid action there. So there you go. That looks like an actual dickhead. See? Yeah, you get it. Battle Beast can grow into an army. Collect all 84. Battle Beast. Um, all right, so let's count how many we got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, all together. Wait, seventeen. One fell down here. I almost lost Bobby the Bobcat. You don't want to lose Bobby the Bobcat. Uh, what was it, 17? So 17 total uh, Battle Beast, most of them in great shape, most of them with their stickers, and of course the Shocking Shark, which again, I'm gonna need to do a lot of work on. As you can tell, some of the decals are, uh, are effed, which I believe is the proper terminology. I'm probably not gonna worry about the decals, but there is a gun, I believe, that goes there, and uh, some more stuff that, uh, that goes to the thing. I gotta figure out how to open it completely before I actually go any further. That's what she said. All right, folks, uh, thank you. This was the uh, second episode of 2022 for Tim's Toy Box. Uh, nice little uh, battle beast. Hope you enjoyed it. If anybody knows, let me see if I can find him again. That weird looking one, no idea. Where'd he go? Right here. If anybody knows who this guy is. Has it I don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. Thank you. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, share, etc. And have a great day.